this lesson I'm going to show you how to cut the basic thumbnail. I'm going to cut it so you can see me uh, do the whole process, then I'm going to break it down for you. It's done in four cuts, it looks simple, but there are certain subtleties that uh, will prevent you making mistakes. Cut one, cut two, cut three, cut four. One, two, three, four. Cut one is a stab cut. The tool comes into the wood in more vertical position. It's important to lean the tool out a little bit, like so, about 10 degrees. The reason is to give a bit of light here and to strengthen this uh, little arc of wood. What you mustn't do is do the stab cut in this direction or le and lever. So if you undercut or lever then this uh, little piece will come out. So present the tool upright, tilt it back and then either you can just push it down with this high angle grip like this using a shoulder or you can take a mallet like so and tap it in if it's a hard wood. So present the tool, lean it out, push it in. Then from there, you can set your side lines for the next cuts. Make sure also uh, that you've presented the tool to the wood so that the, the sweep echoes the cut at the other end, like so. This is what's going to happen. Uh, you don't put it in upside down like that. That just won't work. So you go along and you make all your sound cuts first. The second cut is made in the middle like so. It comes along to the end. So it takes the middle third out. You have a scooping effect here. And in order to facilitate that, you want to take off the heel of the tool so it's much more rounded here and that way it'll scoop in here. Now the reason we're doing it in three cuts is because if I was to do this in one and come to the whole uh, width there of the stab cut then I almost certainly bury the corners and tear the wood. So unless this is a narrower tool you're using for stabbing in this cut here must be uh, this long cut must be done in three parts. So when you come like here you do the first cut like the third, uh, second cut like this when you come to the end you want to be careful not to bury it into this end piece here and certainly not lever if you lever the tool you'll snap that bit off especially with the grain going this way so straight down and across straight down lower the handle quickly and across when you come to the end you can just rattle the or rock the tool around like this in the, in the sweep. The third and fourth cuts are mirror images and they really pick up the sides here. So it doesn't matter which side you cut first but the same sort of scooping cut but this time come along one wall, one edge of the uh, the line that you've drawn. Then as you come to the end, what you have to do is you have to lift the tool and bring the corner round here into that corner of the arc there. So you come along, pick up the first cut, come to the end, don't bump into the uh, little point at the end, tip over along, tip over. This is a low angle grip along. Now you can just rock it into the end and up you come. And then there's a fourth come along here. Now for the other side you do in exactly the same way. Mirror image. Come along here. And this time you roll it to that side. So the tool has to roll just into that corner there. And here. Pick up the edge here. Or there. Oh, 
Now, if you find you've left marks inside, you can go over and you can just tidy those up a little bit. It's not too deep, this cut is only about an eighth of an inch deep all, all, all over. And you will find slight um, uh, lines from the merging in the middle, but that's okay, these are hand cut, but make sure everything is as even as possible. So there's a basic thumbnail decoration. It's got four cuts, a center stab cut, a middle cut and two side cuts. Uh, that produces this nice little scoop trench. Practice that in some spare wood and I'll show you in the next lessons how to use this in a variety of decorative ways.